Hey Facebook world and for all those who watch later on YouTube and of course on Facebook as well. Hello. I need to make a big smile for my thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> I keep forgetting to like actually pause for the thumbnail because then anyway then I have to find like this moment where I'm like eh, and then that, that's not a very good thumbnail. I don't think. Anyway. So I have this topic, and it's been one I've been thinking about, one that I've had the opportunity to experience with one amazing client as this client works through mother wound, a mother wound. Now I say a mother wound, not the mother wound. I think that um, a lot of people, a lot of people that I know, I think that I've had some of this wound as well. We kind of carry around some hurt around the mother figure that we grew up with, um, struggling with how to heal from a mother wound, the mother wound. I mean, whatever that looks like, either you know, neglect or disconnection or um, no attachment with your mother. I mean, all the ways in which growing up can be a very difficult and painful place. And so the idea of mother does come up and. And then cuddling, you know, that first, first, that first person you were supposed to cuddle with as a child, as a baby, was the mother, was your mother, or if it wasn't a mother, it was because um, I want to kind of break some of the gender here, um, the father, right? If the father was the one who was the nurturer and who was the one that um, was in your life, or a guardian, some, I mean, some figure. <laughs> I feel like I'm just going nuts here. Like some figure in your life was there, meant to be there, um, and. And so what I experience, and I'll talk from my own personal experience, it's that it's the mother. It's not usually the father, um, but it is the mother. And again, this connection, not knowing how to nurture, not knowing how to receive nurture, not knowing how to be in the world because that lack of touch and comfort and connection from mother wasn't there. So that when they eventually go to a partner, guess what they're looking for? Mother, right? Um, or that parental figure that feels really good. And usually they land on some wife, some wife or partner or someone um, who is expected to kind of fill and heal that role. So I wanted to explain something that I realized this week through my, one of my, my clients, how the partner might not be the best person to actually help with that wound. So the person that, I, that we realized was, needs to be somebody else and it needs to be in a non-sexual relationship. So let me try to say this again, it's something that I'm still developing and trying to, trying to, still trying to create. So the mother of oh mother wound, it would be best if it were with someone who you're not in a sexual relationship with. Um, and my client said, you know, he imagined thinking about like, if I wanted to try with my wife to kind of heal that, what happens is as he gets closer to his wife, he gets aroused, right? They're like, other things start to like happen and he kind of, it goes in that direction and so him trying to work on the mother stuff with his wife was going to be really difficult because in the mother context there is no arousal there isn't that kind of sexual connection so in our sessions what he asked me to do again it's very unique it's the only um, person's ever asked me to do this he's he brought some perfume from his mother. The, his mother, of course, at this point is deceased, so he was able to investigate the perfume that she wore that he remembered that would trigger that connection with mother. And so I spray myself with, like, with that cologne, that perfume, and as he breathes it in, it's like he's transported back to that relationship with his mother. So now, okay, we've created this container. Um, once they're in that space where okay he remembers mother and then again he's not he doesn't have a sexual response with me because that's not what, what, what we do here he's already trusted his body knows okay this is non-sexual and so the smell is there and then I make an invitation for comfort and nurture and he's able to experience a deeper relaxation in that space and and then healing can happen um, with this specific client he was able to release emotion and hurt and shame and guilt around that relationship with his mother. And again, that, that was all possible because he and I aren't in a sexual relationship. We are completely platonic and I was able to recreate that so that he could heal something that, I mean, today his mother isn't here. So that's pretty much it. I was just kind of thinking this all through and really wanted to share um, how being with a cuddleist 
myself. I guess I didn't even introduce myself again. I'm Janet Trevino here in San Antonio, Texas. We um, definitely can create different types of scenarios and types of connections for you to be able to heal these very unique experiences and relationships from your past that don't include any kind of sexuality and how difficult it is to do that with a partner. I think that's the piece that I found to be most interesting because you know we tend to think we'll just ask your partner right to do this to put the perfume spray and like do this comfort first of all like I know lots of wives or partners that don't want to be in the mother role like that's like no 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 I don't want to be your mother right like no um, one two they don't want to do that comforting they a lot of I would say I'm talking about myself and women that I know want to see their man as being this strong and you know emotionally um, powerful men right who can just connect in vulnerability but then that you know this idea of coming that becoming a child is is not always attractive so to maintain that sexual thing with your partner come to a cuddleist who can then help you work through again the touch and that mother connection relationship that you're needing so I thought about creating a hashtag like hashtag not all wives not all wives want to be the mother and be the mother healer so anyway thank you for listening and consider a session and working on through all working through all your issues whatever it is that you have around touch and your past we're here to support you in that all right take care